Hi, so in video 1051 we created this little mechanical inverter out of two PC fans and we were asked to chuck it onto a uh, oscilloscope to see some information about it and I've stuck it on here. It's my Rigol DS1074, nice oscilloscope, okay? And I'll try and give you a close-up in a minute, but there's this uh, wave right there and that's a beautiful pure sine wave at 66 hertz. So more or less line frequency, a little bit of noise on it, but beautiful wave. Now, the thing about inverters you can buy is you you pay more the closer it gets to a sine wave. So the cheap inverters are really just a square function, they're a step. And, and they're great for things like heating and lighting, but anything more sensitive or any audio, then you're going to get humming and it's not going to work really well. Now, as they progress towards pure sine wave, they get very much more expensive because of the control required to create that sine wave. But they are digital, so all of them approximate a sine wave. None of them actually produce a sine wave. Even those ones where they've got pure sine wave inverter on the box, they don't. They're actually just an approximate step function. It's really quite funny. In fact, a lot of those things that you get printed on the box of inverters, I think actually it's more or less illegal in my mind, because they say this stuff, and when I've read a test about it, I found that they, they don't perform anywhere near what they're saying they're performing, and, and they really should be kind of embarrassed about it, but apparently they're not. So if you want, you can go out and buy a relatively cheap inverter from somewhere like Harbour Freight and it will probably do you the job, and that is certainly true. No, no quibbles, absolutely true. But this is producing a pure sine wave for nothing. Let me see if I can give you a close-up of the um, screen on the Rigol. And there you go, that's what our inverter is producing. To be honest, I think that's kind of awesome, actually. Um, it's in my mind that what I would do to improve this would just use this as a sine wave function generator and then have a look at audio amplification to actually beef it up beyond this. So this little section would take place of all that sine wave generating electronics contained in the inverter, not necessarily be the bit that actually carried the power. But we can get a pure sine wave for a few pennies, and I think that's just worth having and worth knowing. Anyway, I thought I'd point that out to you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.